G'day, my name's John Barry. Welcome to another video tutorial about Adobe Pro Video products. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you something very, very short and sweet. It's something I've been using for quite some time, and it's something I think a lot of people are not even aware of. If you knew this was in here some time ago, I think it probably would have helped out mm, a lot because fractionally you do, would do this so many times. Now the playhead, let's just take a look at the screen here. The playhead, if you want to grab the playhead, you have to either hover right over the top of it and grab it. Or you need to grab the very top area here in order to have it activate. Now, there's this wonderful thing on Adobe Premiere Pro called Keyboard Shortcuts. Now, I've just used a keyboard shortcut to open up my keyboard shortcuts. I used Control-Alt-K. I'm on Windows. If you were on the Mac platform, then you would have used Apple-Alt or Option-K. And then that will get you into the keyboard shortcuts user interface. Now, we've got a keyboard layout. This came out just at the start of the 2017 release. Now here's something cool. You can either select the keyboard through the user interface using the mouse and the combinations will show up. Then you'll get access to what it is that these actually do if they're assigned to something. The other thing is if you hit the actual keyboard control, notice my mouse is all the way over here, I'm hitting the control key and then tab then I'm showing up a keyboard shortcut that is the tip there has always been the ability to use move playhead to cursor let's look for it just in here move playhead to cursor is a specific function within the timeline panel I've assigned a combination of keyboard shortcuts that allows my playhead to snap to my mouse position no matter where in the user interface of the timeline my mouse is. Let me show you what this looks like when it is in action. And you can see here that I have used control and tab. Now moving my playhead to where my mouse is. It could be down here, it could be up here, it doesn't matter. It's nowhere near the regions that it needs to be in order for me to grab it from where it is. Or up in the time zone, as far as the time code range at the top, I don't need to grab it from there either. This is kind of nice because I do this a lot. I have my mouse hovering around here somewhere and I want to see what the content is around that particular point. Control tab. Notice how it snapped to the exact first pixel from the left, the first pixel of the cursor or the arrow. Now, if I hold down control and hold down tab at the same time, check this out. Notice it is now continuously moving with my mouse. This is a huge time saver to just scrub through content and not have to worry about where your mouse is. That tiny little flick up and then grab, you've got to grab the right part or you've got to be up here. This is, no, you don't need to use this. I've been using it for years. I'm surprised I haven't shared this earlier, to be honest. Now, this is the next bit. If you do this, okay, and I'm hovering, I'm just moving the mouse not clicking anything on the mouse, just moving. Now I'm going to click on the mouse. So I'm going to do this. Click. Okay, and then hold down. Watch what happens. Clicking now. Oh, you get to hear the scrub of the audio as well? Yeah, pretty cool. So, please, please, if you haven't already assigned this keyboard shortcut because you were just not aware that it existed, please go ahead and do so. Feel free to use the one that I've come up with, Control Tab. It just seems like a nice fit. It doesn't interrupt with any other keyboard shortcuts I might want to actually use uh, for other things. So that's my tip for today. Move playhead to the cursor. My name's John Barry. Ciao for now.